I'm going to put a little bit of solvent on the brush. Okay. You don't want to dip the brush in there. It'll just contaminate it. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Good for you to tell me that. Okay. okay and and then, then we're just going to push this through. And we're going to do this a few times. Mm -hmm. And make sure we've got all the little carbon and burnt gunpowder mm -hmm. out of the way. Okay. And the outside, see how this is saturated where I spilt a little bit of it? Yes. Uh -huh. I'm just going to wipe off the outside. I'm going to get all, all the gunpowder and debris off. This little area here is called the feed ramp. Okay. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to give it a little scrub. Maybe even get this brush out and give it a little scrub. Ah. And then I'm just going to wipe it. Okay. So now we've got all the carbon and spent gunpowder and all the particulates. It's all clean. Well, it's not all clean yet, but it's okay. getting clean. Okay. And I'm just going to temporarily, I'm going to set this aside. Okay. Now I'm going to get my bronze brush or nylon brush okay. or toothbrush and I'm going to put a little solvent on it and I'm just going to start scrubbing this little groove right here mm -hmm. that runs the whole length right. I'm going to pay special attention Oh, so the smaller brush will be... Get down in there. Okay. Let's put a little more solvent on it. Whoops. Be nice if I had a little saucer or something, but... To deep in that? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then just... Uh, yeah, yeah, I have a lot of saucer that I can just... Just some just little pour, small... pour, pour a little bit in right. that and then dip in that. And again, I'm going to go back and I'm just going to get this solvent, let that penetrate and soak a little bit. Up here where the barrel goes in, I'm going to just put a little there. And I'm going to set this aside, just let it soak. Okay. I'm not going to do much with the recoil spring. It doesn't get very dirty, so, okay. for, so I'm not going to scrub it. Okay. okay. Then I'm going to go to the frame, and these little this little ridge here is what lines up in that little yes, channel uh -huh. there. So I'm just going to give it a little scrub. Okay. Okay. And again, anywhere I see that there might be debris mm -hmm. or whatever, okay. I'm just going to scrub it a little with the brush. Back here, this doesn't normally get real dirty, so I'm not going to do much with that. Okay. So I'm going to take my solvent saturated mm -hmm. towel and I'm gonna just going to start mopping all of that up. Do you normally do that or just with a cloth? The, the paper towel or a cloth? I, I normally do it with a cloth. Okay. Uh, paper towels tend to tear and leave little bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. They're okay, but a cloth is generally my preference. Okay. And again, at home, if you want to use Q-tips or cloths or whatever, mm -hmm. certainly do that. Okay.
Okay, so I'm going to get a clean towel. Okay. And I'm just going to make sure that I've got all of that. The grease out? All of that solvent and mm -hmm. all of any debris okay. out. See that uh, paper towel already mm. ripped right mm -hmm. there. It's just not yeah. strong no. enough. I got but, plenty of towel at home, yeah. so. Yeah, microfiber towels are, mm -hmm. are, are the best. my preference. Yeah. yeah, this is why I don't like paper towels. Mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> now I've got this. All the spent gunpowder. Mm -hmm. I've got this pretty clean. Okay. okay. So there's the frame. I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to wipe this barrel down. We'll come back to it in a minute. Now this is the slide, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to start mopping up all of that mess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Often you uh, you recommend to clean it. I know you like to clean it every time, but for me, probably not possible. Okay, for the gun that I carry, mm -hmm. I clean it every time I shoot it. Okay. The guns that I shoot for recreational shooting, mm -hmm. I clean every five to seven hundred rounds. Okay. Okay. I just want to get some uh, good guidelines. And <clears throat> I would you, say every 200 for me is probably will probably. be. Probably. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like I've got most of the carbon One more thing to do. We're done with this brush. Okay. So I'm going to blot off any solvent that may be left on there. We can go ahead and close this up now. I'm going to unscrew this. Set it aside. And then I'm going to put this piece in. It's got the elongated hole, okay. sort of like a sewing needle. Okay. Right? I'm going to screw this on. And now I'm going to take a patch because we've wiped off the outside of the barrel, mm -hmm. but not the inside of the barrel. Okay. Take a patch. I'm going to fold it into a triangle. I'm going to put it through the slot. And now I'm going to run this through the bore. And look how dirty. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to run that through the bore, throw it away. I'm going 
we get another one? Until you get rid of those, those until black it, thing? Until okay. it comes out clean. Okay. Mm -hmm. going to twist it as it goes through and just mop out as much as I can. Yeah, I do it the first time. I probably will overdo it like mm -hmm. <laughs> five times. If I can clean like I clean my dish, I'm fine. <laughs> my dish is pretty clean. <clears throat> I think one more ought to about okay. do it. That's why they have that square cup for, for that purpose. I'm going to say this is pretty good. Okay. okay. So now we've got it all clean. Now, I am going to bar your microfiber now because mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I've got all of the solvent off. It's just these are so much better than paper towels. No, it doesn't leave the, the lint. Yeah. So now it's all clean, but not only have we got all the carbon and fouling off, we've removed all of the oil. Okay. So I'm just going to clean this up before we put it away. Okay. Try to dry it. So that's clean, that's clean. That Whoops. Get it? I think this, yeah. Okay. So now we've got to oil it. So I'm simply going to take a patch. I'm going to saturate a patch with some oil, and it needs to be a good gun oil, not a uh, not sewing machine oil or okay. WD-40. This is gun oil. Yes. Okay. Okay. And I'm just going to coat this barrel on the outside. Mm -hmm. So we don't want it to rust, right? Right. You may put this up and not shoot it for a couple of months, and you That's don't want true. it to rust. Right. I know that this area right here is a pivot point, mm -hmm. so I'm going to make sure that that gets a coating of oil. Okay. Now, I've got too much oil on here, but I'm just going to let that soak in for a while. Okay. Okay. Before you dry it all out. Yeah. Okay. So again, here's my oily patch. You see this area here that's shiny? Yes. I'm just going to wipe that down with oil. I don't know what SIG says about Oh, I I take out and read, and I yeah. forgot to put back this, in. This this little device right here. Yes, uh huh. That's a a plunger. Okay. That keeps the striker. This is the striker. Yes, uh huh. I don't know about Sig, but I know Glock does not want you to oil the striker. Okay. Or this plunger. Okay. 
and and so we're, we just leave it yeah we're, yeah until until we find out different and we'll read your manual okay but i know that this is shiny i'm gonna oil that mm -hmm. i'm gonna take <clears throat> this groove that runs this whole length of yes the, Yes. Of the slide. Uh, mm -hmm. It's on both sides. Right. So I'm going to put a drop of oil right here. Okay. It's hard. Okay. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to put a drop of oil right here, right in that little groove. Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to let that run down. Okay. Okay. I see. So while that's running down, mm -hmm. I'm going to come over here. This piece right here, remember Remember when I told you that it, there's a pivot point right here? Yes. It pivots right here. Okay. So I'm going to put just a drop of oil on that. On the pivot point, okay. Yeah. And then... I know that there's a pin that runs through here. Mm -hmm. I can see the spring, so right. I'm going to put just a drop of oil right there. And again, we probably should have your manual out reading it. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> now, actually, I can just pull up online, I yeah, guess. All right. And remember the little grooves that we oiled on the slide? Yes. Well, this is the matching surface. You can see right. how it's shiny right there. Yes. So that's where it's wearing, right? Okay. If it's shiny and wearing, we know that that's it telling need, us we it need to oil. oil it. Okay. So I'm going to put some oil on that on both Stop sides. Stop going to help for me to, uh, to slide. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little oil on that, spread it out. I don't mind getting my fingers oily. Now well, it's kind of. Okay. Again, if you wear gloves, you'll avoid right. this. Yeah. And I know that the barrel r runs right in here, so uh -huh. I'm going to put a little oil there. Okay. And again, a Q-tip would be really nice yeah. to do this okay. with. And I don't mind letting all of this just sit and soak for a minute. Okay. Because it's, it's going to absorb yeah all into the metal okay but once i'm satisfied that that it is indeed oiled properly mm -hmm. i'm going to come back with my paper towel and i'm going to remove the excess i'm not trying to scrub it off i'm just trying to get up any oil that is not absorbed in that i don't want any oil freestanding yeah mm -hmm. okay and I'm just going to blot up, and again, a Q-tip or paper towels or microfiber. I'm just going to blot up the excess. And where I put oil on that little pen, I'm going to blot all that up so it's not dripping with oil. Where's my oily patch? Did I throw my oily patch away? I guess I did. Get another oh, one. here it is. So on my recoil spring, mm -hmm. I'm just going to take this oily patch and I'm just going to wipe it down. Okay. If there's any debris on there, it will come off with this, but I'm just putting enough oil so that as this compresses, it mm -hmm. moves freely. Okay. Don't really want to oil it, don't really want to do a lot of cleaning, I'm just wiping it down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so, recoil spring is clean. I have cleaned and oiled the frame, and I've blotted up all the excess. Okay. I'm gonna go to the slide, and I'm just gonna blot up any excess oil that may be on the slide. I don't mind leaving this little channel a bit oily, but again, not not a lot not of standing. Yeah, okay. not a lot of standing oil. Okay. I'm 
and I put some oil in here because I know the front of that barrel rod's there, so I'm just going to make sure there's not any excess oil there. Oops, there's some oil down here in this bottom. I'm going to blot it up. Don't, don't be eating with this chopstick anymore. No, I actually, what I use is the disposable. Just use and throw them out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this oily rag and just make sure I didn't leave any debris there. Okay. So that is cleaned and oiled, but it is not over oiled. Okay. Okay. Now the barrel, we, we ran a patch through it so the inside of the barrel is clean, right? Okay. But I let oil soak in mm -hmm. on the outside, so I'm just going to take a paper towel mm -hmm. and I'm just going to wipe off any excess oil. So now we've got the recoil spring that we have just wiped down, didn't okay. really do a lot of deep cleaning. We've got the barrel that the inside we cleaned with the bore brush and then followed it with clean patches to make sure that it was all clean and all that goop that was left by the brush is out. Mm -hmm. I've wiped the outside of the barrel down and then I came back and wiped it down again with an oily rag just so it's lightly oiled. On the slide, we've cleaned the slide rails mm -hmm. and um, got all the debris that was in this area. Mm -hmm. Sort of worked on the front of the barrel where the barrel comes in. Then we mopped all of that up with paper towels and then came back and lightly oiled it. Actually, we oiled it let it soak for a little while and then wipe the oil off. Mm -hmm. On the frame, we did the same thing. We cleaned the slide rails. We cleaned this pivot point right here. Uh, we mopped all of that up and then a light oil on the wear areas. And then we blotted all of that up. And uh, again, Q-tips or patches or whatever works, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, before I reassemble it, I'm just going to take one more paper towel just to make sure that everything is sort of wiped down. Okay. I'm going to take the barrel, mm -hmm. I'm going to drop it in. Okay. So, I'm going to drop, put it through the hole bring it to the rear. Okay. And then this little crescent-shaped machined area right there. Yes, uh-huh. Okay. That's what this round piece rides in. So I'm going to put the recoil spring. Whoops, I guess it goes. The big side the other way. Yeah. So I'm going to compress this spring mm -hmm. and let it sit right down in that crescent-shaped okay. area. Okay. So this is now cleaned and lubricated and re-installed. Uh, okay. There's some oil underneath this trigger right here that okay. I don't think we did that, but it's I'm just going to take. I'm just going to try to make sure that that's. Yeah, patch is probably better. Okay, so the slide is cleaned, lubricated, and reassembled. Okay. I'm going to put the rail, the slide on the frame rails. Mm -hmm. I'm going to push it to the rear and manually push up the slide catch. Okay. 
Now, which way do we turn this? The other way. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Well, that sounded good, didn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Function check. It function okay. checks well. So the last thing I'm going to do, and my hands are oily, but I'm just going to wipe this down, making sure there's no excess oil anywhere. Now we can put an empty magazine in. The slide will lock back. Mm -hmm. This looks a lot better. Oh it's yeah. It's all cleaned. It was pretty dry looking. Mm -hmm. The inside of the chamber, the feed ramp, which is this little, well, we can't see it hardly. It's okay. right, it's right there. But all of that is clean. Okay. Sometimes I will just run a rag just, just, in, case. just in case there's some spent gunpowder. Not normally a big deal, but okay. Let's polish up the magazine so it looks. Oh, it can polish outside. Just <laughs> yeah. 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 Just just wiping just it wipe down. Just wipe it out. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Okay.